Hi, everybody. It's Patricia, and I'm here with Nimra. How are you today? I am good, Patricia. Thank you for having me today. Sure. So uh, we've got a pretty big energy weekend coming up. I think people are already feeling the energies. It's feeling like mental scatter for people. Um, I know that I was kind of scattery. I forgot my phone at the gym today. And um, it can make people forgetful. Um, but we've got an eclipse. This is a black moon. It's a new moon here, uh, right at May Day, May 1st. And new moon, uh, partial solar eclipse. These things always affect people's energies. I already feel like it affect my energy. I don't know about you. I, I totally agree with you. I think new moons are the toughest seasons to kind of go through because it not, not only acts, um, affects your your mental, like you said, the mental scattering and all that, but for women, it affects our menstrual cycle. So you may feel crampy, like a couple of days ahead of your periods. And normally your periods are going to be around the new moon. So right there, you have to kind of prepare yourself buying the, the, the things that you need, sanitary pads and all that, and maybe get some all uh, Tylenol and two for the pain, etc. And take a couple of days off from work if you know that you're going to be feeling ex extremely uncomfortable. Uh, one of the things that I have been feeling is to have these weird dreams regarding pregnancies from lifetimes after lifetimes and some of them were kind of scary uh, but um, I think it's good because we're kind of letting go of that of this urge and impulse or expectations that we have to be pregnant because we have women yeah like it's an women. obligation exactly right? yeah so, no more being obliged to just pop out babies right yeah, and I think it's about kind of regaining our power regarding that and just make our own de decision if you want to be pregnant or not. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely something that feels like it's unthreading from people. Now, I don't really get mine, but I do get cycles. I get emotional cycles. I get appetite surges and cycles with that. Um, it's interesting because I've had a lot of energy lately. It feels like I can be very productive. And yet um, I just completed a little patch of time where it felt very tiring. And a lot of people were having just weird fatigue, weird fatigue, the weird dreams, of course. Yeah. yeah. How much energy really does it take us to have babies? Yeah, it kind of goes up, up and down. Like you said, there's for a couple of days, you might be pushed to do a lot of things, administrative things, addressing things that you might have not addressed for a long, a long time ago. And then suddenly for one day, you just feel like flat, like you don't have any energy and then slowly it will start again. Yeah, yeah. it's very like fluctuating energies till the new moon. Yeah. But this energy isn't just about our cycles. Um, lunar energy and cosmic energy can affect our mental state, our emotional state, and our physical body in ways that we really don't consider, or we don't get, connect the dots, I think, all the time. Not everyone can connect the dots and feel why are they feeling urgent or weepy or something like that. We're here to help. <laughs> Yeah, so um, during this new moon webinar, we'll be talking a lot about supplements and essential arts to place on key spots, spots, breath and movement. If I've been to any of our webinars before, uh, so you will know that is what, you know, basically to expect. Um, we're also going to be opening the floor to you guys. And so you can, you're free to ask us any questions. Uh, it doesn't matter where you at in this journey. Um, everybody has their own issues on um, issues that their soul has to, um, I guess, address before either being with a twin or ascend and be with, you know, someone they can truly be happy with. Um, so please join us uh, for this new moon on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, give the floor to Patricia. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> we hope you can make it. Um, we are actually trying to help women get their what I'm calling their empress energy. So if you're familiar with empress, what does this mean? You're the queen, you it is your empire, even if that is just your home, 
your body, but we're, we want you to help you widen that out. What is it about being the empress? Well, one really big thing I've really noticed is, is the relationship to men. And this can be any men. It could be dads. It could be relatives. It could be cousins. It could be your kids, your sons. I had a situation with my son where left to his own devices, he was going to keep doing the same thing, expecting different results, of course, and I had to put the brakes on. How are you putting your brakes on in your own empire? How are you doing this? Because, you know, men will keep doing what they're doing. One of the best ways that we see this is, you know, trapping us with babies, baby after baby. Does everyone mean to do this? No, but it has happened. And sometimes our bodies have had enough. Uh, sometimes it's money situations or continuing to lean on us, drain our energy. Now, I'm not saying this to make it seem like men are all bad. It's just duality. They do their stuff and they expect females to do their thing. Um, those, that was one of the situations I had. My son was losing his mind over inflation. But when you make your own empire, you are deciding the things for your life and you're breaking away from the collective so that you can make your own way in the universe, right? Yeah, so many I, I situations. Totally yeah, that's true. And uh, another issue that happened with me is that, I mean, not personally for me, but my mom, she's she's divorcing my dad right now, but they still are so entangled financially. And apparently he can afford his her signature to get, to get some money out of her account. So she got a notice from the bank and the bank is in India. So I don't know how much progressive they are, but I told her you have to address it because for many years he has, he has done that. So using her name and things like that to achieve his own purpose. So I think I told her that this is an opportunity for you to really detach yourself from him. If you're really serious about it, um, separating from him and applying for a divorce, then you need to also address the finances, which is can be extremely scary because we, we need money. We, we thrive on money in this world. So yeah. um, so that can be a very scary situation, but I I, I truly believe that when you start addressing it, um, your higher self will start like guiding you on how to solve all this. And that's what we are kind of doing as well as Twin Flames by improving ourselves and ascending. We are helping the collective also by to do that, other women to do that and separate and not be scared and not repeating the same patterns that used to happen before where women would just stay with their husband, whether no matter what it was happening, because they were scared to live on, on their own, they didn't know if they can be financially independent, et cetera. So yeah, it's important. not even about, so, I mean, it's also the financial independence, like you say, but it's about, you know, not just equality, but equality where it's backed up by the laws and, you know, women can have their own things, which years ago they couldn't. And now it's not just speaking our truth, but it's, the ability to take action. One of the things I love doing in, especially in the classes is helping people feel their other half so that they feel lovingly supported. They feel like their higher self is in their corner with their best interests. And they can actually feel that presence much more tangibly, even if the person hasn't showed up because it's very hard as a single person, even if you're married, to do these things like you're going against tradition, you're going against the grain, you're saying no to people, you're literally setting boundaries. And this is a whole new way of loving yourself, which you're literally bringing in your higher 5D self to love you at this level. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. And, and I think our other half that will not have any of 3D and 4D qualities um, that other soulmates have and that we we tended to you know go for so I, I can confidently say to you know to all the women that are waiting for the twin frame to just call upon your twin and they have an etheric body that is always inside you they will help you they will guide you and it will always be the loving way there's no 
um, anger or defensiveness or anything like that. Yeah. You hit the nail on the head, like having a strong but compassionate heart where you're doing things in a way that is for the good of all concerned, you know, whether it, you know, like you and your mom and you and your dad and your mom and dad, and then that ripple effect that everyone is getting the best way as possible so they can all detach and move along. Just like with my son, if he's attending a presentation from a school and they're saying, well, your generation has it the worst, you're getting 14% inflation now. And that's all he can think is my generation has to clean up this mess. That's a lot of being said out there. But what is it really? We have to make our own way every time. And the motivation comes from the inside out, not just always the outside in. This can be a time of confusion, but positive confusion, where it helps you sort out and take action on the things you need to take action on. It could be legal stuff. It could be family stuff, money stuff, kids stuff. Um, it is the end of a cycle. And what you do now helps you in the next season, in the summer season or the winter season and the lower things. Yeah, we talked about feel. nature, right? Oh, yeah, sorry, that's I, I just, no, it, it's fine. What I wanted to say, it is what I feel with this new means that we're just kind of planting seeds so that we can get the rewards later when summer comes. That's what I, yeah. I felt. Not only plant the seeds, but weed the gardens, get the bugs off that would eat your leaves, yeah. <laughs> crush the bugs, yeah. get rid of the parasites, get rid of the things that will suck the blood out of the things that you're planting new life for. Yeah. Definitely. Nature, right? We we're talking yes. about nature. So yeah, nature, I think it's, um, I, I think in this journey, if you have worked with us, um, we have often told you to go into nature. It's such a, it's so healing, especially for twin flames, because it just clears our, our chakras and you, you can be able to breathe better. The, there's not that heaviness in your chest. You may feel when you feel anxious, which is something that can happen in this journey a lot. When suddenly things just oh, happen yeah. all at a, all at once, you can be extremely confused. Uh, you and it can literally be paralyzed. You don't know what to do. So taking some time into nature will help you kind of dissipate all that fear, that energy, so you can start thinking and receiving guidance from your higher self, your twin to know what's the best next step for you. Yeah. And you're in a really hot climate and here it's still cold. Yeah, it <laughs> I mean, we literally got a frost warning yesterday for people that were trying to plant their vegetables and flowers that could frost. And what are you going to do? Nature is nature. Nature, Mother Earth isn't always fighting back. Mother Earth wants to have harmony with us. We have to coexist on this planet even with those other people that maybe they didn't get activated yet. How do we do this and take charge? Because that's also the Sempress energy. It's about taking charge and taking action in the right way. Not by kicking butt, not by always being a biatch or, you know, boss babying everything. You know, you have to, you have to do things in the right way if you want it to go as smoothly as possible. Yeah, and I think that just being in the flow, which I feel like that's how it is with animals, doesn't mean that you're going to be a pushover and just be okay with everything. It means you're strong enough to put boundaries to know that, okay, what's best and do what's best for you first and put yeah. yourself first. Yeah. Yeah. This is how we change the men is by our gentle strength. Sometimes um, we're not we're looking for them to transform. We're not trying to correct them. They're not broken. They're kind of broken sometimes, just like we are, but they have to be able to feel it as well. And that's how we do it from the inside out and not always from the outside in. So I hope that you'll join up me and Nimra. We're going to be there in the class. Uh, we love to hear your questions. Please look at the description below for the links. And we hope to see you there. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, Nimra. Thank you.